To get started, please launch OptiSlang user interface, open a new project, and save it with the name of your choice next to the reference folder. Download it from the course attachment. Process integration and workflow setup is assisted by wizards. Please use the solver wizard and drag and drop into the scenery, then follow the instructions. In the first step, you select the solver ls dyna and then select the main input file. In second step, you parameterize the solver input file if numeric values have been provided by param parameter keywords then these are listed and can be registered as inputs by drag and drop. Using the advanced tab, also each numerical value can easily be added as parameter. In this way, add Young's modulus of the bumper sections 1 to 3. You can search inside the input file, search for Mark the position where the parameter value must be inserted, switch off expendable, give a name, and add. By click on parameter names, you will jump to the parameterized sections. Parameterized locations and value formats can be adapted afterwards. In addition, you can have a preview to control the outcome. Please note the difference from the original and control the correct value formats. In third step, you define parameter properties. The default is an optimization parameter with real type and continuous variation within plus or minus 10% of the reference value. In the fourth step, you specify and parameterize solver outputs. The integration uses the LS extractor to read data from LS Dyna binary files. Please note if there is no output definition file, lsxdefs.xml available, it will be generated automatically based on your selections. We will use the rbdout stored in the LS Dyna binout file which we must open. In this way, you can add signals on the tab Histories. You see here the definition to extract histories of bumper deflection and barrier acceleration. Since acceleration is oscillating, we use the Butterworth filter with a cutoff frequency of 50 Hz. On the tab Responses, you can also add scalar responses. Shown here how to extract the last value of the barrier X displacement and the maximum value. Once you press save, the extractor definitions will be written to the output definition file, which you can open now. In the integration, you mark the extracted responses and use as response. In addition, you can also extract scalar values from signals in OptiSlang calculator. On variables tab, you find the already added responses. The instant visualization shows the responses as graph or tabular view. From tabular view, drag and drop the ordinate vector into the variable section. In the expression field, you can directly write formulas, but please open calculator for more help and switch to the tab function tree. In the calculator, there is an inbuilt help available, which is demonstrated for the automatically created entry extract. Since you are interested to get a positive value of the deceleration, you can search for the function ABS and study the documentation and syntax. Please add this function before the existing expression. From the absolute values of the acceleration vector, we finally take out the maximum value as real scalar. Please note the differences between signal, 
vector, and finally scalar value. Please rename the value the variable as max abs dash ax and add as a response. In fifth step, you can already define the criteria. We like to control that the simulation was done long enough so that the displacement in last step is smaller than the maximum value. In sixth step, you define the solver process. The text-based LSDyna integration uses a batch script for the LSDyna solver call. A ready-to-use template is available, but if you like, you can also replace the script with the LSDyna call provided by ls-run, as shown here. Be aware that the batch script is executed in each design directory and the automatically adapted input file is already stored in that working directory. Therefore, you must not choose a global path for the input file. Now the wizard is ready, and finish will create a basic workflow. Such a basic workflow can be extended. In our case, drag and drop Excel integration node on the existing connection. Please note, the connection line must be light green so that the node is correctly inserted in between. Edit and open the reference spreadsheet. The integration supports names defined in Excel's named manager. In our case, there are defined three thicknesses. Based on this, the costs are calculated. Drag and drop to register as parameter. But we can also directly parameterize cells in the spreadsheets, drag and drop cells to register as parameter or response, as demonstrated for the response costs. If the workflow setup is finished, you should start a test run of the parametric system. If the check is successfully completed, then further studies can be set up based on this using wizards.